all right guys we are back on the madden 15 grinding you guys new wild card content is out so uh for starters the team of the week hero is going to be indomica sue i thought that there were a few players that had better games than sue and had more of an impact but we're going to start off looking at the set you guys see demarcus lawrence on the screen 85 right in for the Dallas Cowboys my barber actually yo my barber is a G man big shout out to him uh, this guy looks so promising three tackles one tackle for a loss two QB hits and a game winning sack and fumble recovery now during the game I was one of those guys that was like man yo the NFL is rigged I can't watch this trash I can't watch this nonsense anymore but I always overreact on Twitter it's just it's natural you get used to it it's something I do I try to get better at it but that, that game is definitely a boiling point. And I saw the replay. I saw a couple of replays. Yeah, there was a misholding on uh, that controversial play everybody's talking about. As we move on to the next car, let me uh, just talk about this car for a little bit. As you guys see, this is, this is I'm pretty sure, Ahmad Bradshaw's replacement. I believe he had a solid few weeks once Bradshaw went down. And I had no clue. I missed this game. I did not know that he gashed the Cincinnati Bengals like that, that... That injury to Geno has to be hurting uh, Geno Atkins more than we know. 22 touches for 141 and a touchdown. A buck 41, man. That's a lot of yards, especially in the playoffs. The defense is coming to play in the playoffs. As you guys know, the Carolina offense, or my bad, the Arizona offense could not do anything in the playoffs against Carolina. Uh, as we go on, we see Daryl Smith right here. 86 speed, 10 tackles. One tackle for loss and two forced fun. Wow. How did I miss this? I had no clue he forced. I watched this game. I guess maybe I didn't know. I, I didn't pay attention. I wasn't very attentive. I didn't know who uh, forced the fumbles. But Daryl Smith, definitely a great game for him. And we move on to Terrence Williams. I, I, do, I, <laughs> I really do love the duo of receivers they have out in the D right now, man. Terrence Williams, Des Bryant. Who knows if Des will be back? You have to think he will. But uh, will the Cowboys part ways with DeMarco? I don't know, man. Back to what I was talking about. Yeah, it was it was definitely a controversial call. There there was a miss holding on the play, but I, I think you have to make a call. People are Dallas fans are talking about, yeah, the face mask was grabbed. I want to know what you guys think. They, they thought it should have been offensive pass interference. So I'm going to let you guys duke it out in the comments. I want to see what you guys thought, man. It's going to be a hot topic. It's already a hot topic. What am I even saying is this guy, Terrence Williams, they gave him 92 excel. I thought he was a bit faster than that. 94 speed, though. That is no joke. So Terrence Williams, they gave him a pretty solid card. And the thing about this set is you need an offensive and a defensive elite to complete the set. That's a little different. Did you guys see Charles Johnson, part of that historic performance by the Carolina Panthers? Three tackles, two tackles for a loss. In the Cardinals' defense, I'm pretty sure they were playing a, a third-string quarterback. Kind of questionable decision for the Panthers. Or my, why do I keep getting them confused? Questionable decision by the Cardinals to not play Logan Thomas. 97 power move, 74 finesse, 87 block shed, 86 tackle. Definitely, definitely a nice set of cards this week, guys. Man, where is the playoff? Is, are we even getting one? Alright guys, we have Indomica Sue on the screen right here, and with my luck, they'll release a playoff promo like as soon as I put this video out. That's just, I'm so unlucky. You guys see it with the packs, how unlucky I am. So, this Sue, 95 block shed, 96 pursuit, 98 power move. Stud. Just a nice card, man. 85 tackle. You gotta be crazy to do the set, though. I would not do the set. I guess when I think about it a little bit, maybe if I pulled one of the cards, I would do the set. So, like, not taking shots at guys that are maybe big Sioux fans and want to do the set. As we go and we open up some packs, Eagles off, uh, Eagles defense, my bad, my bad. I wanted the Eagles offense, but I got the Eagles defense. Okay, here we go, Ravens away. Ooh, Jets player, and I Brandon Spikes. My brother, my brother likes Brandon Spikes a lot out in Buffalo may be an underrated player okay here we go dennis allen curtis taylor all right oh uh, uh, miles austin oh uh, come on and, and a browns jersey my heart 
definitely does go out to Detroit fans though man sad year sad year because I really feel like the Lions had a Super Bowl roster I thought they could have taken it all uh, they were pretty balanced on both sides of the ball the offensive play calling is a little conservative though when you have the weapons the Lions do and I get a pouncy now this pouncy is actually a solid pull as you guys see 89 run block 88 pass block 95 impact block that is great for a gold center you're probably going to have a tough time finding a gold center higher than a 95 impact block uh, the, the strength is pretty good so the only real downside is the awareness as i'll show you guys and compare them to my webster and i'm like yo might need to get rid of webster might need to just use pouncy but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna keep webster leave a thumbs up guys and be sure to subscribe for more Matt 15 ultimate team i'm d coop hope you enjoyed it i'm out the streets wanted it so the streets shall get it check it out guys this game we're playing a big game